Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for coming in and watching another day of Astro Gravitational Report. Oh, this is going to be for August 11th. That is a 2023. Uh, for those who watched the first uh, few minutes of the report, uh, there's going to be some of these situations that you may end up and people creating you know, problems that don't exist finding their excuses or looking at inside of situations that it's going to be coming in. Also, you're going to be looking at if you're creating this. Uh, so please stay in mind uh, with all this energy. Man, it's affecting it. Uh, talking about there's going to be the square between the Moon, Neptune, and uh, Mercury and Mars. What does that mean in astrology translations to you? Your intuitions, your uh, focus within you, the energies that you're going to be looking at inside, it is a uh, half a negative energies with the visions that happens in the past, in not long from the past. At the same time, the same kind of like uh, intense energy is going to be towards Mercury, who is responsible for what you're doing with your hands. So be mindful if you're at work. But also, what do you do with uh, your talk, your communications, the way that it is, and so on. But also, that is going to be squaring Mars, which is your actions. Currently, Mars it is opposing Neptune. He doesn't like to see the visions from the past. So don't bring the past into the other people as well. So kind of like a stay away. This is going to be kind of like a, the energy. Uh, there, because later on that energy is going to be kind of like a moving into Cancer. And you're going to be preparing of entering its own home, which is a Cancer. And uh, talking about that, uh, uh, you're going to learn and the value of the purpose of family. So talking about now from uh, hourly standpoint, uh, Confirmations, anybody? Uh, at six o'clock in the morning, the ascendant is going to be together at eighteen degrees of um, of Leo. Be mindful that uh, Venus and uh, um, the Sun are coming in together, and they are both don't like too much to grow, and they both don't like what the universe has. So your authority and love and money inside of you, they don't like the current. You may experiencing harsh financial ships or you experiencing love situations because of your own authority that the universe and the growth right now tells you until you don't learn, you're not going to grow. Until you don't understand, you're not going to be. And that's what we send you back. That is it, the power of the retrogrades. So, uh, 7 o'clock, uh, this energy is going to be, of course, uh, uh, changing, um, talking about that the midheaven is going to be with Uranus, that is going to be the inner work uh, that is going to be done, focus exactly at what I just said about 6 o'clock, about this union of uh, authority, money and love. Uh, some of the people who think that they are in an authority, since that they have the money, they, it's mean you have to give them the love, they're going to have a very harsh time. People who have a lot of money but no love, they're going to be experiencing maybe depression situations inside of it, catching in the wrong rabbit or trying to get chasing two rabbits but not catching none of them. So while uh, looking at within this, there's going to be some situations if you have uh, people or friends or family that in uh, similar situations, you are going to be finding out uh, that throughout the day. Uh, however, um, that energy is going to shift uh, because of uh, uh, 8 and 9 o'clock. I'm going to be talking more about 9 o'clock uh, in there. Uh, this intensity between the Moon, uh, Mars, uh, Mercury and Neptune is going to be increased. Why? You're going to be dealing with this energy. That's going to be the energy of the day. It's going to be basically reflecting within you. Uh, because that energy is like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, it's going to occupy your mind. It's going to be preoccupied from what you knew. Uh, but look at it inside of it. Uh, Mars and Mercury, they know what they're doing. If you've been on divine masculine energies, if you gain your 
positions in there, you're gonna be grow, the universe is gonna support you, and uh, things are gonna be going smooth. They're not gonna be perfect, but they're gonna be going smooth. Some of the things they're not depending from what's in you. They're depending on what the other people you're dealing with, their relationship with the universe, which is, is none of your business. So that is a kind of like a wisdom maybe some people have to learn, not just stick their nose where it not belongs to. Uh, you guys know what I'm talking about. Those people at work or those people, uh, uh, parents or family, when they comes in and talk to you about things that they want to gain, they want to learn, they want freebie, they want understanding. Or those people who are, you know, seeing things. Be mindful about that energy. Just totally be mindful. Um, 11 o'clock, uh, this energy is going to be interesting because mid Kevin is going to be at uh, Cancer. Lately at 11 o'clock, the energy is very beautiful. you feeling the love, you feeling the growth, you feel feeling the universe, you're feeling this unifications within uh, Mercury and Mars. They're cooperating with uh, Jupiter and Uranus. You're going to feel it because all that's about this is going to bring that beautiful power within the family you're going to experience you know pretty much within about uh, i will give it a guesstimate but then it's about like in two days you're going to experiencing exactly those emotions but what is the rest of it will be where is there going to be authority where is going to be a love and money they're still going to be fighting as long as you're not fighting for it if you need something uh, that's going to be coming in, the universe is going to be coming in, it's going to provide it, as long as you leave the things in the hands of the universe. And that is going to be this divine energy that it's going to be travel into Libra with the rising energies. Uh, talking about specifically at um, 12 o'clock, uh, mid heaven, it's going to be at Leo, but in divine energies with Saturn. If you think it doesn't happen now, you should learn to to trust it you're pushing it you have not changed and uh, Pluto's gonna send you back and it's like go ahead and change and then you come back I will do what you want so uh, look at it within you you may have to go back to certain situations that you had in life you to go ahead and see to remind you that we have a four planets right now in retrograde that's it Pluto Saturn and Neptune deep deep subconscious transformations restrictions learning from mistakes in the past and the proper visions that you missed in your past you miss you failed to see something and now you're looking at to relearn that is a sensei he's dreaming if you hear him on there but that is a about the love and the money did you experience it with you? You to learn a lessons. Did you lost everything? Did you lost your joy? Did you lost your happiness? Because love and money were connected to each other. Big lessons in there, but some of you, you know, you're gonna go through it. I met some of your friends. One o'clock, that energy with the authority within you is gonna be very interesting. It's coming in, but it's working within the intuitions. That is the time when the intuition is gonna be like, hey, authority. I love you, but you have to look inside. Why the universe doesn't support you? Why there is no this growth? What is your focus in there? What do you do? Why just not take time and take a look at it? Let's go back together in the family. So uh, some of the people is gonna be finding that energy within uh, within yourself. Um, personally, look. What is your relationship with you? Because that relationship with you is going to lead to the relationship with others. So, uh, 3 o'clock, progressive time. Really, some of you at 3 o'clock is going to be exactly looking at within these issues that are created. Mars and the mid heavens, they are coming in together. They are squaring the moon and the moon is squaring Neptune. You're going to find out what the people have. It's like, okay, you're trying to make an excuses. Or, okay, you know all this stuff, but why are you not performing? What is your actions? 
you know all those things but why not organize your life why not doing your things why not clean it up your own self when you already know that and some of you usually when the moon is querying Mars specifically and talking about it that is usually when some of the people are blowing up their fuses like they had enough you know I had enough I had enough you're disorganized you're this you're that and this so on and so on but there is a divine energies between the moon and Pluto if you have this divine feminine energies inside of you you will understand you never you don't always have to ask the other person to adjust to your own visions you also have to change because your visions may be not right maybe they're not working towards progress and you may also have to look within yourself what kind of intuitions did you listen your ego based intuitions your survival intuitions what what do you have in life or that growth and maturity that's going to bring you everything that you ever needed but you have to stop wanted because the difference between the wanted it's needed is that the universe provides exactly what you need but when you attach your personal wanting you can want everything you can want to be a billionaire if the universe says you're not going to be a billionaire you're not going to be a billionaire even if you work yourself you can work work and then you're going to prove you can become a billionaire and you're going to find out it was total lost of life so some other people are going to find out this because of that situations so uh, four o'clock is gonna be a uh, um, four and five o'clock is gonna be about the mid heavens gonna transitions within Libra balance we're talking about uh, balances in there there's gonna be a balances with Chiron and there's gonna be a balances with uh, Uranus there's gonna be a balances with Jupiter so uh, looking at with all those energies uh, guys this is going to be helping you you to work on this balance with the authority and about money where is it that middle point we all need love we all need money we all have to put, put ourselves in there as an authority but are we doing it right with corporations with everything else that is out there other people energies mother nature the gravitations the universe okay just because we think that we have authority that we can control things that doesn't mean that we don't have to take an account with everybody else so uh, later on at um, six and seven o'clock mid Kevin goes through uh, Scorpio that is gonna be the time of this daily square purging things but at the same time the ascendant and pluto are in double divine energies with the moon you're going to be looking at for the divine for answers especially that ascendant is going to be the first degree uh 17 minutes within aquarius you're going to be looking to there's got to be a new path there's got to be a new way there's got to be a new solution you can't be doing this the same old way there's got to be a better way there's got to be a something that I can do to feel better and some of you is going to begin to feel this energies uh, in there as I stated you know the moon is going to be at uh, cancer she's already entering cancer at the fifth fifth minute uh, there at uh, eight o'clock um, the ascendant moves to 21 degrees of uh, Aquarius and it is 20 degrees with Mars and Virgo divine organizations in the masculine energies some of you is gonna feel it you're gonna feel like it's divine time to organize things to step up to the plate to do the right thing it's like you know what these things are not right let me fix it these things is not like that let me do it okay you you guys know what I'm talking about if you're a Virgo you know organize things to the last uh, you know perfections in there uh, for it but you need to understand that not everything has to be perfect everything just has to work 
So uh, looking at them, that uh, energies uh, mid heaven, it's going to be interesting at nine o'clock. It's going to be heaven a squares with Mars. Uh, thanks God the Mars, so it's already break out in that square with the moon. Otherwise, there could have been a lot of intense energies at that point. But uh, mid heaven is a trine with the authority and uh, the love. This is, is like, you know what? I give you the love, but you never gave me the money. I give this authority to you, but you're screwing up with that authority. And now I don't love your authority. And I don't like these energies. I don't want this. And you're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth uh, with all this. Why? Because you have to learn to mature. Two, unifying things within yourself. Observe more and create this wisdom inside of you. So at uh, 10 o'clock uh, and 11 o'clock uh, specifically, the energy is going to be really positive, really good. Uh, the divine energy is from mid-heaven and uh, Venus. They're going to be very powerful. We're talking about Leo Capricorn divine energies. This is going to be a very special learning throughout the days at that. Because those divine energies are about the king becomes the pro. You're gonna begin to feel as the more and more the sun it's entering, it's exiting, you know, it's got like another I would say another five days. You're gonna feel it these divine energies within the authority. Because when you get enough from above, then guess what? You settle down and you get to work. And when you get to work, you're getting pro at your work, right? But uh, you can't just be saying, hey, I was hired to be working on a computer and they say, well, can I just only do a computer work? You also have to work out there in the field because you're a worker for the company. And you're like, well, I didn't sign up for this. And they look at your contract and it says there, you should also perform in the field. Oops. And now you're looking at that and you look at yourself. You overtook your authority inside of you. Now it's time for you to become a pro and fulfilled what you sign up for it. Kind of like a, this, kind of like an energies. And uh, that will be the astro-gravitational report, guys. I want to say thank you for the... Uh, watching thank you for the support and uh, guys um, be be understandable be understandable within the people be a more compassionate within yourself observe more don't judge but justify things okay guys thank you so much for watching it and come back tomorrow for another astro gravitational report guys be love and have a great day